This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm joined by Mo Saeed. It's been a while since we last spoke. Oh, You've lost time. a hell of a lot of weight. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I mean, I'm trying. Uh, the thing now is I need to try to keep it off. Right. Uh, with my body, I just need to smell food and gain, <laughs> I gain two kgs straight away. But yeah, I worked hard, man. Um, high protein diet and intermittent fasting. Okay. And uh, make sure you go gym like at least four times a week yeah. and then that's it an hour four times a week or hour yeah. and a half hour is fine uh, 45 to one hour but weight training only that's why i do i mean do cardio as well by the way for your heart it's, it's good for your heart okay, nice. but me i was just doing weight training and that's it okay nice yeah. no it's good to see you, certainly um you flew in here on the private jet today with ksi you're here for the rest of the week yeah um not bragging but yeah <laughs> i mean uh, to be honest uh, I, I edit for JJ, so most of the time I'm inside the room. So it was mm. quite nice this time to actually travel with him. Mm. So yeah, it was first time uh, PJ for me. Oh really, first time? Yeah, 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 first time. I mean, I could have in the past, but obviously uh, with work and everything, all the responsibilities yeah. and all that, so I couldn't. But now, yeah. And also, last event was in Manchester, so yeah. that's I live in Manchester, <laughs> so I missed out. And all the, like a couple of the shoots that it was in Manchester, I missed out. So now, yeah. Uh, the first of many, the first of yeah, many for sure. Yeah, um, you're looking forward to the event though, it's some good fights. Miss it's Perth's pay per view without KSI fighting. Yeah. Danny Ahrens, H. Tiki Toki, Ben Williams, Dean the Great, yes. some good names on the card. Very good names. Uh, I am, three fights I'm interested in yeah. is uh, DTG, mm -hmm. um, Danny Ahrens, and uh, H. Tiki Toki. So, three fights I'm interested in. And those are my favourites as well. Uh, here, TDG, um, and Danny Aaron's, mm. basically. Hopefully Danny Aaron's gets it, man. He's been working hard, man. Like, uh, from last, what? Since last year, actually. Like, we we came together to watch uh, Tommy Fury fight. Yeah. Uh, so we bought, like, we got our own WhatsApp group and uh, we bought, like, tickets together and everything. And then he was telling us that time, like, he's going to fight. He wants to fight. And, like, like less than a year after. Here we are. Hard. Yeah, yeah sure. so he deserves it. He deserves it. I'm telling you now, he's gonna put uh, the work in, and uh, I would say three first three rounds we'll know the results. Mm, certainly. Yeah. Well, I think. He, well, I was gonna say he's a new PPV star. Where he's already fighting on pay per view, but the good about Danny is he continues all his YouTube content outside of Misfits. He doesn't put it on pause like enough a lot of fighters do. He continues it, and he's still uh, he's still pouring out the YouTube content, which is good to see. Yeah, man, he, he's grinding, like streaming, and also his TikTok is active, his Instagram's active, he's active uh, on YouTube as well, and not just that, guest appearances and other YouTube channels and all that. He's active, and also, like, really humble guy. Yeah. Like, when you get to know him, bro, like, he's, like, you won't know he's, like, celebrity famous guy or whatever. He'll be with you as, as a friend, uh, but yeah, he deserves it. I'm telling you now. If betting wasn't haram for me, <laughs> I would have put my money on Danny Aaron's. Yeah, it's a good way to say it. If betting wasn't haram. Um, and obviously KSI fighting next year, Q1. I guess your nerves won't be as pouring as this year as it would have been for this fight. Yeah, I think Tommy Fury fight was like... I was nervous because at that time, JJ never lost, mm -hmm. right? And I was really nervous. And to be honest, you know what? I, I might be nervous still, man. I might be. Uh, the thing is, like, after that loss, uh, JJ taking it really well now. And, like, you know, as you can see, like, he's back on, like, you know, grinding terms and all of that. And I think he, he has realized, like, there's always, like, you know, winners and losers as well. Sometimes you lose, it's fine. So with that mentality... I mean, with his min winning mentality, for me, it's going to be like, okay, you know what? JJ handled his worst uh, defeat. Mm. Uh, next fight, even if he loses, it's fine. Nothing's going to like an affect it's him. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of yeah. the world, yeah. Uh, but, you know what? He's, to be honest, like, if you, if you see his, uh, uh, I mean, you, you, no one knows his new skills and uh, new style of boxing now, but... He is confident, and I'm confident for him as well this time. Who would you like to see him fight next year then, in kind of January, February time? I would want him to fight Amir Khan. Yeah, um, you would wouldn't. I would. You would. I would, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, Amir Khan would be a really good shout. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and we have we have mutual friends as well. Oh, I mean, I mean Khan and me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bit awkward for you. Yeah, a bit. Uh, one of my closest friends. He is basically best friend of Amir Khan, and uh, I met him a couple of times as well. But he's gonna be awkward, but uh, it's fine, man. JJ all the way from beginning till the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Certainly. Um, what about the Floyd Mayweather fight? That's been heavily rumored. Uh, man. I. Yes. He, it'll be like the thing is those fights they're not going to announce the winners so it's going to be like all the way like how Logan fight, fight was where at the end you want it's, it's all like debatable who's going to win and whatever but Jay is going to do well that's what that's what I can say awesome before we wrap it up here they're just finishing the face offs anything else coming up for you though Mo anything cool coming from me yeah Nothing, man. I just lost weight for health reasons, not <laughs> boxing. <laughs> but you never know, man. Like, you know, mom's told me, like, you know, if I get a six pack, <laughs> maybe I can. But I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, but I did it purely for health. So in the future, never know. But I am going to try to get a six pack now. That's my next stage. I'm yeah. almost, almost there. Almost there. You can go over to Deji and say, look at this. Nah, you know <laughs> what, bro? Everyone's giving a hard time uh, to Deji. Um, but man, he, he worked hard. He worked hard. You know, sometimes it's not it's not easy. It's not easy, man. But yeah, he he's gonna be in a good shape uh, for his next match as well. So next boxing match as well. Awesome. As always, Mo. Thank you very much, bro. No worries, man. Awesome. Always a uh, uh, pleasure to see you, and uh, hopefully see you next time as well. I uh, will see you. In, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Nice, no, son. Thanks, mate.